Hi everyone and welcome to the new video. In this video I will explain you Liquify tool and we will create these photos. Liquify is amazing Photoshop tool. It gives us ability to, to move selected pixels on the image. You can find it here in filters. Here in this corner you can find different tools. First is forward warp tool and we will use it most of the time. You can do a lot of things with it. For example body sculpting, hair fixing, enlarging parts of the photo and so on. It's the most used tool in magazine reductions for photo editing. Now let me show you how it works. With this tool we will take care of her hair and straighten it so it will look like there is no wind. Here you can select the brush size and just go bit by bit and move her hair into the one position. Ok, great. Now let me show you the other tools. Here you can find a twirl clockwise tools and it actually twirls selected objects in a clockwise direction. So let me show you on this cloud here. Ok, we will simply click and hold. As you can see it twirls it. Ok, let's click on Ctrl Z to undo. Ok, let's go to the next. Here you have Packer tool. And actually it decreases the size of the selected object. Let's see on this cloud. It will decrease the size of the selected object as long as you keep holding a left mouse button key. So let's go on the next tool, Bloat tool. And it's actually inverse of the Packer tool. So it will enlarge the selected object. Let's see. As you can see it's enlarging it. Ok, click on Ctrl Z. Now let me show you one amazing technique. So for example, you want to make some adjustments on this cloud and move, move it down. So as you see when I try to move it down, I damaged pixels of, the, of her head. So we need to protect it. So we can do this with this tool. It's called Freeze Mask tool. And actually you can freeze the part of the image that you don't want to be affected by the liquify tool. So let's try it. You can adjust adjust size of the brush here. If you need corrections you can use this toe mask tool, it actually deletes this red area. Ok, now let's move the cloud down with, for example with forward warp tool. Now let's create something interesting with these clouds. You need to wait a little bit because it's large picture. Ok, as you can see we went from this to this. That's it for this video and see you in the next.